What up, internet? Corinne here, and you're watching Corinne vs. Cook It. Today, I'm gonna be tackling the almighty macaron. Now, macaroons, that's not how you pronounce it. They're two different things, two different things. Yeah, French people must be pissed about that. They spend hundreds of years perfecting this perfect little cookie thing that takes a really long time to make, and people confuse them with this coconut piece of shit. There's a video even that tells you the wrong thing on YouTube. Imagine that. In English, macaron or macaroon. People are not happy about that video, by the way. Did you know that macarons had feet? Yeah, me either. I did a lot of prior research because there's a lot of information on how to do this right. So let's get started, shall we? All right, here we go. <laughs> Out into the public lands. Fingers crossed that they have what we need. Yes, here it is. The Silpat mofos. Now I need some of this and one of these. Yes, I think this is gonna be big enough. <laughs> That's what she said. You did it. Now I'm on my way to go get some eggs. Exciting, isn't it? <laughs> I can hate you. Hmm, this seems easier. I'm gonna go that route. Nice rainy day for making macarons. Now let's get our French and cooking on. All right, here we are, back in the safety of our hope. Apparently, I'm supposed to let these sit out for several hours to age them, which is a little weird to me. I don't know if I like it. What do you think, kitty? Do you call them macarons or macaroons? Oh, you don't care? Fine. Ugh, hours later. It's all dark now. And here they sit. I don't know about this, you guys. I don't know. What I do know is that we have to measure out all of our stuff with a scale. Otherwise, failure, okay? So measure your shit out. As you can see, that's what I'm doing here. And I'm doing a really good job. I'm really good at measuring things on a scale. Okay, now I have to beat the eggs until stiff peaks form. Yeah, stiff peaks. Um, yeah, I'm actually not really sure I know what I'm doing. I don't think I'm doing it right. There's peak-like forms, but there's some watery sh at the bottom. I don't think that's how I'm supposed to do that. I don't beat eggs like this very often. In fact, I'm pretty sure I've never done this before, so I'm not really sure this is right. All right, now I'm supposed to fold in the other stuff um, like this, and I'm not very good at folding stuff, apparently. Last time I did this in a video, a bunch of people were like, you suck at that. That is not how you fold something. I'm really good at folding clothes, by the way. I'm just not good at folding shit into f***ing beaded eggs. Sorry. So at about this point is where I realized that I was supposed to add in the food coloring that I wanted to. So I'm just gonna add it in now. That can't hurt, right? These are in honor of Martha Stewart, in Breakfast at Tiffany's, the Carolina Panthers. However you want to f***ing look at it, we're making these teal because that's what I want to do, okay? Teal with it. <laughs> Listen, I know that this first batch probably isn't gonna go right, so don't be a batch about it. Just let me do my thing. I'm doing the best that I can, okay? Now this shit has to stay here for 30 minutes. Sure, it does look a little like runny and stuff, and when I put it in the piping bag, it just kind of comes out the tip all watery, and I don't think that's supposed to happen. I'm thinking that this isn't the way that it's supposed to look. And they're only supposed to be about two inches big. Uh, and these kind of spread out a lot more than I thought they were going to. Yes, all right, the uh, first batch <laughs> didn't go as smoothly as I would like. I think we may get one good macaron from these two right here. The other ones, it's very abstract. It's like interpretive dance, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, these are supposed to sit here for a f***ing hour before I put them in the oven. What the f***? Another hour. <laughs> I'm so tired already though. Whoa. Whoa. What do you think you're doing? No. I think the moment of truth is upon us. These can't be sticky to the touch. See? <laughs> oh yeah. Does this set kind of remind you of anything? Good quality, family friendly fun. All right, time to go into the oven. Yes. All right, so I'm thinking I did a couple things wrong. Like instead of using my stand mixer, I should use a beater and just beat it. Oh, 
She even has a picture of those things. God damn it. See, this is what happens when you don't pay attention to all the things. Yes. Hey, macaroon troubleshooting. These are all her notes. We're about to give up. Can't give up. There's so many things. Rob's right. I can't give up. Even though he gave up making a stupid invisible Christmas tree last week. What's that all about? You just get one and done? What the fuck? Anyway, even though I know these look terrible, I know I can do better, okay? And everything I've read about making these things, no one does it right the first time, so there's that. And after reading all the shit that I probably did wrong, I've come to several realizations. One, my almond flour. That shit is probably a little too moist. That one's for you, Bonita Applebaum. Moist. Moist. What I gotta do is pop it on a pan and pop that shit in the oven for a little bit. On a low heat, don't go too crazy. I'm just trying to dry it out a little bit. Don't want it to be too moist. Also, things I didn't do last time was sift all this shit. I read on the blog that I'm following, nothing about sifting it, the stuff and I just put everything in the food processor like I was told, but I'm thinking that everything needs to be sifted like five times, so. I sifted all the sugar before I weighed it, which after the fact, I realized that is just what you're supposed to do and I'm an idiot. Um, I also sifted the almond flour before I weighed it and then I put them all in the food processor together and then sifted all that shit again. It's a sifting party up in here. I also put the food coloring in at the right time this time. So I think that's gonna help our chances a little bit. And you know what? This batter seems a lot better. It still has some issues though. God, this is gross. Looks like fucking crap. They by no means look like something I would like to eat. Quite the opposite actually, quite the opposite. These fucking things, like that, that's a problem. I'm also realizing here is that I just noticed that it says pasteurized, which is probably affecting my ability to make these things fucking do the right thing. God damn it. Why, US government, why? Why do you have to pasteurize everything? Alrighty, it's okay, it's okay. I'm gonna go get some fucking normal eggs. We're gonna try this again. One more time, one more time. That's it, that's all I have in me. One more time. It's also not raining today, so I think that's gonna help our chances. Yep, clear skies. No humidity in the air today. I'm actually feeling pretty parched. Ah, the sun is out. <laughs> Yay, on my way to get more eggs. Excellent, isn't it? Yep, still hate myself. Maybe even just a little bit more now. <laughs> this is a terrible idea. Okay, here we are back at the house. Let's try this one more time. Got my eggs here. Gonna crack them open like I should have last time instead of trying to take the easy way out and failure. Yeah, so I'm separating the egg whites from the yolks. This isn't a yolk, people. Now I have to let them sit here for another four hours. This is, this is bullshit, but it's all for the good fight. You know what I'm saying? All right, this is the moment of truth, the egg beating. Yes, the eggs were definitely our problem. That is for goddamn sure. This is not at all how the egg whites performed. Look at these peaks. Yes, peak performance right here. Yeah, these are definitely a lot better than the last ones. Not all runny and shit. Unfortunately, I forgot to add the food coloring. Other than that, we're, we're doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. And now we wait. We did it. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Yes, I would say things have gotten exponentially better. Um, so I know I said last time was gonna be my last try, but I really need teal macaroons. We're gonna give it one more go and try to remember to add the food coloring this time. Are you ready? Are you? 
Macaroon making is no short process. If you don't have a lot of time, don't make macaroons. Yeah, if you go on Top Chef or something and you think you can pull out your fancy macaroons, you're probably gonna fail. Pack your knives and go. But you know what? This batter is looking pretty good so far. Got my food coloring in there this time. Yes, I think we are gonna have a winner, y'all. Okay, we did it, I think, almost. Now we just have to let these sit here for an hour, bake them, let them cool, make some icing, sandwich them together, and then let them mature for about two days before we can eat them. <laughs> I hate it. Stupid French cookies. Why can't we just have good old chocolate chip? This is America, we eat chocolate chip here macaroons. These things are stupid. Alrighty then. Here they are after being baked. And yes, it looks like I may have baked them just a little too long. And as you see here, this is the icing decision that I made. And I feel good about it, regardless of your judgment. I don't care anymore. Yep, and here they are. Now they just have to mature for two f days, and then we can eat them. Aren't they cool? I did yeah, it. Yeah, is that them? Yep. I'll take that one right there. Is that safe? Unclear. This is amazing. No lie, I thought they were gonna taste like sh They should try it. Some food porn. Oh, look at that. Wow. Yeah, I think I did it. Yeah, it's pretty good. Looks pretty good inside. And totally not stressful at all to make them. Oh, what have you done all week, Corinne? Made a bunch of fucking sh cookies. That's what I've done. Actually, I may have a use for these after all. First shot. Boom. Bullseye, motherfucker. Wow. Don't f with me. Don't f with this rabbit. What? What? F American buddy. Know about guns, not macarons. Sharp shooter over here. Uh, alrighty then. I think that's finally it for this video. As always, we want to know what kind of projects you want to see us make here on this channel, so leave your suggestions in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe, like up this video, and I'll see you later.